Hey folks, we're going to do a quick sample tutorial on our lens cloth. It's a very, very thick one. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not like, you know, an inch thick or anything, but it, it's so thick it kind of feels like, um, suede kind of. It's got a nice heavy feel. It's not very thin at all. I have my two pieces of scrap paper. Butcher paper, unwaxed butcher paper, white, not brown. I'm going to give it a quick pre press just in case there's some moisture on the paper. That could help it blow out and unwanted vapors for the most part. Because when the steam goes, it travels the dye. And we don't want no dye migration because of steam. I'm going to set my press to 405. 35 seconds. It's just a sample. I'm not exactly sure. It'll be perfect. I want to put my cloth that up. You caught me. Muscle and roll. Now, does it matter what side of these you press? No, I think we could actually do both sides, and that's why they're so thick. I guess uh, we're only going to do one side today, but I'll let you know how the double side goes. Unless we pause and I print out another. Temperature's up. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to pre press this. 10 seconds. And it's light to medium pressure. It's only a number two on my scale. I set it to 35 seconds, so there's our 10 second pre press. I'm going to put this face up so it's not to contaminate that slide that I want to put back on my project. I want to let that cool for a second. I have Coney Island art, uh, art walls images, pictures I took myself. I don't know if you could tell, but you see that little line down the middle. That's the cement line in the wall. Um, beautiful picture. Let's take some Ditrans Pro Spray 2. And I set it without stumbling. Give a little spritz. Because a little dab will do you. You use too much, it will definitely make the dye run on your sheet. You have to make sure it's a foot and a half to two feet away so it just gets the mist and not a direct blast. Very important. We have our pre pressed cloth, which is nice and flat now. I'm just going to give it a quick. Sorry, I moved it. It's okay. It was in my view. It's okay. He's a repositional spray adhesive. Okay. So make sure it's nice and flat on my paper. So there's no wrinkles, no nothing. So this isn't perfectly lined up, folks. I made the image a little bit bigger than I should have. Just so you could see. So I get edge to edge. Um, I did make it 6.125, um, but then I wasn't exactly sure that that would be good enough. So I stretched out a little bit before I printed it. I guess a little too much. But heck, this is just a sample. I want to turn it over and oh, see it holds. Better too much than not enough, and then now you got a full bleed. Exactly. I want to turn this over onto my sheet. I want to keep it off to the side. Just because every time I press, I like to change the position of where I put my substrate. I mean, usually that's for hot items that press into the rubber. This is soft, I understand. But, let's see. So I'm going to do 35 seconds at 4.05. Number two on the press. Oh, it went to a three this time. 
Wish me luck because I've never pressed one of these before and I hope 35 seconds is enough. I feel that it's a very high quality microfiber and it should be fine. Yes, fingers crossed. Does it count if I cross my fingers and I'm Jewish? No? I don't think finger crossing okay, has a religion. <laughs> no, it does. It goes back to... Okay, never mind. Okay, folks. Here we go. 35 seconds and we'll give my extra one, two, three, four, five because... Yeah. You wouldn't be you unless you did. Correct. You can see why we use our cover sheet. All that would have been on our top platen if we Bring didn't. Bring it closer because I'm having a hard time seeing it. Oh, there you go. Thank you. And we're going to flip this over. And I guess I could have used a few more seconds. But it is very nice and very vivid. Let me see the back side. It did not bleed through. Beautiful thing. So press pause. Let's print something. And just so that you see, this is the excess that would have been on the stage. And you would have never gotten it off if you didn't use your paper. Thank you. Hey folks, w welcome to my sloppy workstation. Yeah. We're printing with my Sawgrass SG800. You know, a lot of that faded color could be that my inks are over a year expired, so that might have a lot to do with it. Even though I've never had any clogging problems or issues. Well, maybe not. It looks quite vivid. Okay, hold on, folks. Okay, folks, I'm back at the press. Looking for my can of Hidden Dyke Trans Pro Spray 2. See how, see how far I go? It's just a mist into the air is all you need. A little bit goes so far. I've had that can for two years and it's more than halfway full. I'm actually going to come down a little bit on the image this time. Now let me ask you a question. Because you said the first one came out a little light. Well, it's vivid, but I just feel... So what about applying slightly more pressure with more time? Well, it could go either way. Sometimes it can get light from overcooking, which I don't think it is. But I, I can use a dab more pressure and add a little bit more time, and let's see how it goes, folks. We're all ready. Wait a minute. Jennifer was very nice. She pre-pressed the paper. Flip Did that I do again. it backwards? Where's the, where's the thing? It's on there. Oh. That's the printed side. I'm doing the double side. I know it. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, there's no pa no thing on there. Honey, we're professionals here. Okay, well, excuse me, you fooled me once. And folks, it could be I have too much time also, but we're going to figure this out. And remember, everybody's press is different, so you'll have to I'm adding adjust. pressure. So what are we at now? I brought it to a medium, which is a 4 out of 8. And did you add time? I didn't, but we're going to do one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi once we get to 35. I don't think that's the problem. I think it would probably have been less time. Well, what is this material exactly? I believe it's a mixture of polyester and polyamide. Both polymers. Which they both do print very vivid, I believe. That wasn't Mississippi's. Something. Moment of truth, people. Yo! Same thing. No, I don't think so. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. It was still very vivid and very beautiful. How do you like that, folks? Side two. This is side two. That's side one. I think side two is a pinch pivoter. Yeah, it is. Yep. Definitely is. Yep. 
Okay. Okay. A little bit more time, a little bit more pressure. Yeah, we'll get it hammered down, folks. We'll all figure out our own machines. You know, everything is just guidelines. But, yeah. Okay, folks. Have a great, great Sunday. Be well.